hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see what is kanban view and how we can create a kanban view in odoo we will see the real task case in case you missed previous discussion about how to add notebook and page tag in the form view please check link is given in description plus if you want to learn more about odoo with different task cases with different topics you can go to here in the playlist and here in this playlist you can see this playlist odoo development and here you can see different playlist also available with different topics with different real task cases how you can implement in your odoo develop so this is the main playlist and those are the sub playlist here and if you are following this one you don't need to follow any other playlist here because this is the main playlist and here if you need any help related to odoo uh, you need any support you can go to about page and here you can see inquiry weblearn.gmail.com you can send your query to this email address also you can support this channel using these two urls plus you can also join this channel using this join button let's back to our main topic like what is kanban view so simply like if you know write the list list view here like this is the list view here if you want to add more attractive list view like if you want to display each and every record in the square bracket you can also create that view which is a kanban view and kanban view is advanced version of the list view as my point of view because the purpose of the kanban view is to display information here like this way you can see here the list of students visible like this way but if you want to change the layout to this tabular format to the square bracket format then it is also possible using the kanban view like odoo by default provides that kanban view same as the list view and same as the form view so we have to create that kanban view in our xml side then after it will display here all right so let me go to in editor and i'm trying to create a small kanban view Let's go to training, custom add-ons, student profiles, list view, and here this is our view. Let me extend, expand all. So you can see this is our list view. This is form view, and here I'm trying to create a kanban view. So for this, like we need to create some basic model like this field name equal to so here in this model like we have to always remember like ir ui dot view this is the model name and it will automatically create one entry in this model all right here like we have to always mention the unique id like let's say student Kanban view like this and here in this name attribute we have to provide a name field like student.kanban.view so you can see here whatever you mention here you have to mention here the same thing it's not fixed but you can also add more content or less content here based on your convenience but instead of the underscore you can use here dot sign all right so let me again add some more content like demo then after like here we have to provide model so here for which model we are trying to create a kanban view so let's say student profile right so i have to provide here the model name like school dot student and it should be exist in the python side all right so you can see here so this is our model name school dot student so we have to mention here if you mention any other model name which is not exist in the database side then odoo always throws the exception like this and that model is not defined in the database side uh, in this database please check that model name and correct accordingly all right so here like again we need to use a r c h 
and like that should be the XML and here like we have to use the Kanban all right if you check my previous discussion how to create form view search view and list view I always explain like this is the basic structure of the any kind of view you can create let's say if you want to create a form view then we have to provide here the form if you want to create a list view you have to create a sorry not a list but tree view if you want to create a search view you have to mention like this so here also like we have to mention the kanban so like this kanban all right for the double check you can see here like this is our main tag inside this tag like we have like these three tags available like name model r and then after you can see immediately it starts with the form tag if you see here the tree tag you can see like this like name model and r and then after the tree tag right and this is the main tag all right so you have to remember this one i hope like this is not a hard to remember right so this is very easy way to remember like this way so each and every views like you have to define like this way so now i'm trying to create a new view which called kanban all right so here like first let me add here some information and then after i will explain what is it so let's say i want to add here the student name right now and let me add here the templates All right, so this is our simple Kanban view. I, I, I didn't add more fields here to understand this Kanban view because this Kanban view is slightly different compared to the list view, search view, and the form view. All right, so here, like if you want to add like uh, whatever the fields you have to mention in the Kanban view, so after this Kanban view, you have to always mention here first let's say relational fields or any simple fields you have to always mention here it won't be print anything here but if you want to print any if you want to display any fields in the front end side i mean in the kanban side then after you have to create this template like this so here simply you have to mention as a templates inside the templates like always we have to create uh, some fix uh, classes which means like this t tag we have to mention like t desk name and then after this kanban desk box and in this div tag like we have to always use like oe kanban underscore card this is the class name if you know the css part you can go to in the web module over there you can get these classes like this is the fixed part here and the main thing here is like you have to remember is like whenever you use any field name like for example in the form side like we simply use like this right like field then after name and id we always mention like this way in the preview also we use like this way in the search view also the same way right but in the kanban view it's slightly different here you can see here like we use here the span tag in the span tag you can say t desk ese don't worry about this templating part because this is comes under the Q web templates but i'm not explaining everything here i'm just trying to explain few things only like whenever you want to print any specific fields then you have to use either span or div or t tag or whatever here then after like you have to mention like this t desk esc after like we have to mention here the record record then after dot and then after the name field you can see here this field we already mentioned here right so this name field we have to mention here and if you want to print this one then after we have to use this dot and then row value like this way after like it will print in the front end side so like you have to remember like this way let's say 
let me give you some small example so let's say in the form view we directly if you want to print the name then we just use this field name equal to and under this name we have to provide here the field name lie right like name roll number school underscore id so in the kanban view we have to mention like this like t, t esc then after record the first thing is then after roll underscore number which is this is the actual field name and here like we have to provide the row value and the close the tag but you must have to remember like you can see this roll number we didn't define here after the kanban view if you didn't define and if you are trying to upgrade the module then it rise the error first let's forget this one we will see in this discussion so this is our basically kanban view here so now this kanban view we have to register in the windows action after it will print the kanban view otherwise it won't be print the kanban view all right so we have to see this windows action you can see here the view mod view underscore mod here you can see tree view and the form view we actually created right but simply like we have to also add the kanban view and let's say whenever i click to the menu the student profile here like here so first view should be the kanban view after like if you want to switch kanban view to the list view you have like here it it's the would automatically visible here the view the supported views here all right so let's see how so to do this so we have to provide here the kanban as a view name so this is actually sequence for this view mode like first it should be display the kanban view then after it should be display the tree view and then after it will display the form view and now i'm trying to upgrade the module So there is no any error now good to go in front end side and trying to refresh the page okay now you can see we have here the view type also this is the list view and this is the kanban view now what i'm doing is i will click to the student menu now you can see this is the kanban view right you can see this beautiful view here like let's say if you want to switch to the list view then you can just click here if you want to switch to the kanban view you can click to this kanban view here this this is the kanban view icon so this is the simple way to create a kanban view don't worry about the attractive kanban view we will cover all the test cases in different topics all right so this is the simple kanban view now let's talk about the some errors the basic errors like developers always face the issue so here like let's say like this field you can see this role underscore number field is exist in the model side but let me try to refresh the patch and restart the service you can see the module automatically upgrade might be you confused here like i already configured in the pycharm like this all right so this is my database name and this is my module then so whenever i restart the service or whenever i start this service like would automatically upgrade this module the school underscore student so let me go to in front end side and try to refresh the patch now you can see this error message like dictionary like report role number is undefined so what we have to do is might be in your case some fields is undefined due to here like you didn't mention before the templates like let's say fields oh sorry name 
and simple we have to provide here the roll number and stop this service and trying to upgrade the module all right and again i'm going to in front end side and trying to refresh the patch now you can see the student name this is the student name and this is the roll number display here like this way i hope you understood like how to create this kanban view in case you have any doubt related this kanban view please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be like how to display this kanban view attractive